Shalom and good morning to all of you. Praise be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Let us read a couple of Psalms from Psalm 67 to prepare ourselves for this morning service. Psalm 67. To the choir master with string instruments, a psalm, a song. May God be gracious to us and bless us and make his face to shine upon us that your way may be known on earth, your saving power among all nations. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Let the nations be glad and sing for joy, for you judge the peoples with equity and guide the nations upon earth. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. The earth has yielded its increase God, our God, shall bless us. Verse 7. God shall bless us. Let all the ends of the earth fear him. Let all the ends of the earth fear him. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks for the beautiful day, for another new day that you've given us. Father, you have brought us here in your sanctuary to praise you, to listen to your word and to walk accordingly to your will, Father. As we gather here, Father, we pray that you will be in our midst to bless us, to fill all of us, O Lord, with your spirit and to guide us. As we're going to hear your word, Father, we pray that you will give us a spirit of obedience, O Lord, to hear your word with an humble heart and obey it. We humble ourselves before you, Lord. We speak with us and guide us. In Jesus' most precious name we pray. Amen. Friends, let us all stand to sing the opening hymn, hymn number 211. O come, O come, Emmanuel.
Amen. As we remain standing, we shall now go into time of praise and worship. Our worship team will lead us in this hour. Good morning, everyone. So, uh, I guess uh, the flat is affecting all of us, uh, especially as our pianist is not here today. He tried to come halfway, then he had to make a U turn. Uh, but all in all, God is here. Uh, we want to give glory to God. And we want to invite you to sing with us. Uh, it's not too early to sing Christmas songs, so we're going to start by singing some Christmas songs and worship God. Angels, we have heard on high, sweetly singing all the place, and the mountains in reply, echoing their joyous ring. Church. It's always a joy to sing about the word of God. Sing with us.
angels sing glory to the newborn king peace on earth and mercy my god and sin is reconciled joyful all the nations rise join the tribe of the sky peace and jelly hosts proclaim christ is born in bethlehem Christmas Day Mary's 
Christmas Day And man will live forevermore Because of Christmas Day And man will live forevermore Because of Christmas Day Mary's boy child, Jesus Christ Was born on Christmas Day Once again, we thank you for your presence, Lord Jesus, that you're going to continue to be with us throughout this service, Lord Jesus. And as we prepare ourselves for the message, Lord Jesus, we want to invite you. Come, Lord Jesus. There's a lot of things happening, Lord Jesus, but we know you're in control. We want to commit everything unto you, Lord Jesus.
seated let us remain in the prayer mode let us all confess our sins and our trespasses before the mighty god before the almighty god if you have any hurts and forgiveness bitterness in us it is better for us to confess all of them all of them before the almighty and holy god friends in this advent season it is good for us to forgive one another accept one another and bless one another so let us all take take this opportunity to do that let us all analyze ourselves for a moment father god we thank you for all the gifts that you have given us for all the blessing lord that you have poured on us especially lord we want to thank you for the forgiveness every time we come before you and we pray father god forgive us and you forgive us a lot but lord you are expecting us to forgive others as well so lord now we draw ourselves nearer to the throne of grace asking you lord to help us to forgive one another it is not it is not good for us a lot to continually carrying burdens heavy laden on forgiveness all those uh, unwanted garbage a lot in us for those who are carrying heavy laden please come unto me and i give you rest that's a promise of yours Now Lord we are drawing ourselves nearer to you. Help us. We pray that Lord you will take away all these unwanted garbages, unwanted hurts from us a lot. Grant us a lot the heart of Christ, the mind of Christ. the characters of Christ so that we also will forgive love one another accept one another encourage one another as Christ does thank you apa for the beautiful day friends i would like to urge all of you to pray for the floods in malaysia As you all know flooding has struck over five states in Malaysia, Kelantan, Melaka, Selangor, some parts of KL which has led to evacuation of 322 families. The number is expected to rise in the following hours. So let us pray that the flood level, the flooding level will not continue to raise. Pray for the safety of disaster survivors who are in the flooding areas. and also pray for mitigation of disaster risk and damage let us all remember them come let us all pray for them father god we pray for the floods in malaysia and all the affected families father expecting 300 over families to be evacuated lord and some places are badly affected father many people are in needs especially the poor and the need they are suffering they are going through hardship and some place lord they couldn't even find a safe place to put all these people remember lord uh, for for the sick people for th- those who are unable to walk those who are bedridden father we pray that your mercy will be upon these people we pray that lord the flood level will not continue to raise you are a miracle working god father do a miracle 
We pray for the safety of the disaster survivors, O Lord. Protect them, O Lord, from all harms and dangers as they are helping one another, as they are helping the victims, Father. They too, Lord, must be in the safe place. Give them protection. Give them wisdom, O Lord. Pray for the mitigation of disaster risk and damage. There are also churches, Orang Asli churches, our Tamil Annual Conference churches, some parts in Sha'alam and Klang are badly affected with floods. Let us all remember all of them in our prayer. Dear people of God, let us remember one thing. The Lord is king over the floods. He is king. He is king. But it is our responsibility to pray on behalf of these people who are badly affected, asking God to protect them. Father, we pray for the churches in Malaysia, especially with the AC churches and other churches, Orang Asli churches as well. As they are going through Lord this hardship in this month of December, as they are facing floods, Father, protect them. And let the floods, Lord, be subside. Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy on Malaysia. Have mercy, Lord, on your people. Thank you, Lord. Let us all remember for those who are sick, and those who are in need, let us remember baby Felicia in our prayer, Mr. Sarojini Mayasan in our prayer, Ms. Shanti Bandia in our prayer, and all are those who are still sick, who are unable to walk. Let us all pray that the Lord will give them a whole healing, a spiritual healing to them. The physical healing is important, but spiritual healing is far more essential. Father, we remember these people in our prayer. We bless all these people, Lord, in your name, asking you, Lord, to heal them. Heal them completely inside and out. Heal them spiritually as well, Lord. And those who are in need, Father, in this time of Christmas, let the needs of the needy, Lord, be met and let them be satisfied. Let us pray for our leaders, our LCC leaders, the pastors. Father God, we thank you for the a group of wonderful leaders that you've given us, good pastors. As we are heading, Lord, to the new year, next year, Father, we pray that you will give us your wisdom, your vision and your mission, O oh Lord, to lead your people. Continue to strengthen us. Continue to guide and lead our leaders. Let them run, Lord, with perseverance. Let them, all of us, the pastors, the congregations, and also the leaders, run with perseverance, Lord. Give us, O oh Lord, your word. Teach us, O Lord, your word. And reveal to us, O Lord, the desires of your heart. We thank you, Lord, for all, for all the blessings that you have poured on the MC breakfast thus far. We thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you for your leadership thus far. You have given us, O Lord, good pastors, good leaders, and remember them and give you thanks on behalf of them. In a while, O Lord, we're going to hear your word, Father, we pray. Help us to hear your word in obedience. Mold our hearts. Mold us, we pray. 
and help us to walk according to your word. As pastor preaches your word a lot, fill him with your spirit. Fill him, Lord, with your strength. Speak to us, we pray. We give you thanks. In Jesus' most precious name we pray. Amen. Let us all recite the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptations, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us all stand for the scripture reading. Scripture reading for today is taken from Matthew chapter 2, verses 1 until 15. Mrs. Ruth Maniam will read for us. Matthew chapter 2, verses 1 until 15. The, the, scripture, the scripture reading for today is taken from Luke chapter 2, verses 1 to 15. Luke chapter 2, verses 1 to 15. In Sorry. Sorry. Matthew chapter 2, verses 1 to 15. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea, during the time of King Herod, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the one who has been born king of the Jews? We saw his star when it rose and have come to worship him. When King Herod heard this, he was disturbed, and all Jerusalem with him. When he had called together all the people's chief priests and teachers of the law, he asked them where the Messiah was to be born. In Bethlehem, in Judea, they replied, for this is what the prophet has written. But you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For out of you will come a ruler who will shepherd my people, Israel. Then Herod called the Magi secretly and found out from them the exact time the star had appeared. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search carefully for the child. As soon as you find him, report to me, so that I too may go and worship him. After they had heard the king, they went on their way, and the star they had seen when it rose went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. 
And having been warned in a dream not to go back to Herod, they returned to their country by another route. When they had gone, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream. Get up, he said. Take the child and his mother and escape to Egypt. Stay there until I tell you, for Herod is going to, kill, going to search for the child to kill him. So he got up, took the child and his mother during the night and left for Egypt, where he stayed until the death of Herod. And so was fulfilled what the Lord had said through the prophet. Out of Egypt I called my son. Amen. Seated, let us pray. Father God, we want to thank you for this morning, O Lord. We pray that you will speak to us. O Lord, we know that your word will set us free. Now, Lord, we open our heart, our mind, our soul to receive your word. Minister to us through your word, O Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Dear friends, you may be wondering why the same passage taken um, for today's sermon. Last week also the same passage. And Pastor Nelson preached very well last Sunday. He touched other aspects. Uh, from this particular passage but today we're going to see another aspect from this uh, particular passage so many songs we sing at christmas are reminders that uh, christmas time is supposed to be happy song like uh, jingle bells uh, Feliz navidad go tell it on the mountain and i can say on or tell on so many songs so all these songs communicate that christmas time is to be a joyous uh, trouble free season but let me ask you honestly is that what you are experience, experiencing this season? Probably not. I'll give one or two examples today. Why there is a, a careless must come to our home and sing song? What is the reason? Why we are inviting careless to come to our home? Is that giving us a joy? Is that giving us happy? Why we are inviting careless? We are inviting carers for many years, right? So why are we inviting carers to come our home to sing? Anyone want to try? Spread the word to the neighbors. The to the neighbors. Then why we are not going to the neighbor's house? The carers supposed to sing the song, the good news, to the unbelievers, the people who do not know Christ. That's my belief, my understanding. You may have a different understanding, different, a different belief on carol, carols. But my belief is the carolers should go to the house where people never heard about Christ at all. Where was the first carolers appeared? The first carolers appeared to the shepherd, the angels. If you read Luke chapter 2, verse 8 to 14, the angel of the Lord appeared to them and they, praising God, said, Glory to God in the highest. That was the first caroling. So the carolers must go to the non-believers' home and share the good news, not to the Christian home. That is my belief. But if you have a carolers in the church, I'm okay with it. So, is that giving you a great joy during this Christmas season? For some, of you, for some of you, personal problems are keeping you from experiencing the joy of the season. For others, you feel like one crisis after another. You are facing a lot of crises in your family, in your working place, or in your education, or with your friends. So during this season, people may face in crises and problems. And some of you are so busy and working so hard, and for you, there's a no time to spend, uh, no time to spend with your family to making muruku, cake, and cookies. Remember those days? We are sitting around with our mother and making muruku, correct? One person will put inside the oil, another person will take. You had that kind of experience? Nowadays, no. Oh, with the 10 ringgit, 20 ringgit, I can buy a lot of muruku and cake and cookies. But we don't have that kind of experience today. Dear friends, we need to spend time with our family members. That will bring great joy and fellowship. Or maybe for some reason, you are just not enjoying Christmas at all. Disappointment at Christmas is not an unusual thing. We get so excited with expectations about what Christmas is supposed to be. 
What can, you, what can you do this Christmas to avoid disappointment? How can you improve your level of joy this Christmas? What really gives us joy during this Christmas season? How we can um, bring joy to others during this Christmas season? The answer is found in the story of Maggie or Magi in Matthew chapter 2, as Pastor Nelson preached last week. So Magi wise men from the east saw a star that indicated the birth of a new king in Israel. So wanting to honor him with the gifts, they set the journey following the star to find the newborn king. So from the attitude of these wise men and the events that surrounded their journey, we see how we can raise our level of joy at Christmas. There are three lessons we're going to learn today, dear friends. The Magi really want to worship God. They want to honor God. They want to know where the Christ is born. So during Christmas season or during Christmas service, some people may spend time with their friends, with the party. It's okay, you can have a party with your friends after the Christmas service. For during Christmas service or for the, on the Christmas day, we need to spend our time with our Lord Almighty God in the sanctuary of God to have a fellowship with our members, with our fellowship with our family members. You can have all kind of party in your home or in any way. But remember, you must celebrate Christmas in the sanctuary of God, in the presence of God. That is the most important thing for us. Is that give you joy? Spending time with your friends and celebrating Christmas and having great party with them? It may give you joy for a little time, but it will never last long. So dear friends, so what give you a great joy during this season? Firstly, what do you seek? My sermon title today is Seek, Look and Give during Christmas season or during Christmas. So your level of joy at Christmas is directly related to what it is you seek. Ask yourself this question. What is it I want to get out of Christmas? What do you want? What do you really want out of this Christmas? What is it that would make your Christmas wonderful and satisfying? Decoration? Okay, why we are doing decoration? Oh, Carlos, please come to my house. I have a great decoration in my house. Oh, come to church. Oh, let's see. Oh, how beautiful sari it is. The sari, the shirt, the jewelry you're wearing, they will never bring satisfaction for Christmas. All the family members together and happy, finding the right present to give, getting the gift you have been looking for, the problem with all this is that they can leave us disappointed. Sometimes we're not able to find right present for our family members. You buy something, they don't like the color, maybe they don't like the gift as well. It will never satisfy you at all. Have you ever had that kind of experience in your life? Expecting a gift or present during Christmas season, right? We must take something for Christmas. Dear friends, the problem is not Christmas. It is in our expectations. We are looking for the wrong things during Christmas season. We are looking for wrong things. The Magi show us how to increase our level of joy at Christmas by looking for the right thing. We must look for the right thing during this season. What was it that they were looking for? If you read verse 2, it tells us, They came to Jerusalem and said, Where is, where is he who has been born king of the Jews? Pastor Nelson very clearly shared to us last week about worshipping God. For we have seen his star in the east and have come to worship him. The, the, they were looking for Jesus Christ. The Magi looking for Jesus Christ. They come to worship Jesus. Dear friends, during Christmas season or during Christmas service, we need to come together as a family to worship our almighty God. Not to see what kind of sari they are wearing. Not to come to see how church decorated it's not important at all. 
The important is to seek our Lord Almighty God, to worship Him wholeheartedly. That is the most important thing during, our, during this Christmas season. So, we are looking for wrong thing during this Christmas season. Christmas for them was an opportunity to worship Jesus for the Magi. That, was, that is what we need to be looking for and expecting this Christmas season. An experience of worshiping. Worship God. Humble ourselves. Again, Pastor Nelson said last week, and he said some other uh, Greek word on worshiping God. They humble themselves. Even the Bible said that the dictionary say, the commentary say, even they kiss Jesus Christ. How our worship will be during Christmas season? Oh, Pastor, very late, Radila. My turkey is cooking now, you know. Please finish the service early, can I, Pastor? I love my 12 o'clock vanilla. I need to wish my friend Happy Christmas. We are very busy with looking over uh, and phone, what's the message during Christmas season. When they are sitting in the church sanctuary, in the presence of God, we are looking over message in the, uh, during Christmas service. That's not important at all. The important is seeking our God Almighty. Worship Him wholeheartedly. That is the most important thing during our Christmas season. Secondly, where do you look? Your level of joy at Christmas is directly related to where you look. We learn from the Magi that they are wrong and right places to look for Christmas. They started by looking in the wrong place. They looked to where their own human reasoning said they should look. The star indicated the birth of a new king in Israel. The Magi went to where kings should be born, to the palace of Herod, the great in the capital city of Jerusalem. So the Magi went to the wrong place, where they supposed to not go. So, but, but what a mistake that was. When Herod heard of the birth of a new king, his jealousy sought to destroy Jesus. So the, the, the Magi, the Magi, the wise men, went to the wrong place. We must ask ourselves today, during Christmas service, or during this season, are we sitting at the right place? Or are we doing the right things? Our God is watching us, and we are accountable to God one day. So we too are tempted to look for joy at Christmas in the wrong places. We think by getting or giving the right gift, we will be satisfied. We imagine that being with the family will be joyful. Maybe not. All this can easily disappoint us. You may not be able to afford the right gift for a loved one. Family members may be missing from your holiday celebration. If you are looking to these things for joy, you may be left with a disappointment. I want to give one example. Every Christmas, my mother will buy a shirt for me. I will tell her, don't buy. Don't buy. She will say, no, 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 I will buy. I want to buy for all four children. I also want to buy for you. So sometimes she will uh, choose the wrong size. S size, la, M size, la, I can, I can, can wear. Sometimes will be very big, big size, and the color will be different. Maybe I don't like the color. But to make her happy, I will wear that. For that particular day, sometimes the shirt is very tight. I will use it. No choice. Amma bought what? Mother bought for me. So, through that gift, my mother can't satisfy me. Likewise, we cannot satisfy anyone with our gifts because everyone has a different choice of colors or size or anything else. So, the Magi looked in the right place when they looked to God. When they look to God, they have looked at the right place. Their trip to Jerusalem was not a total loss for them. While there, they discovered where they should have looked in the first place, the Bible. The scribes in Jerusalem say that according to the prophet Micah, the Messiah was to be born in Bethlehem. So with this, with this new information, they looked again at the star and followed the star to Bethlehem until the star stood over the house where the child Jesus lived. So dear friends, are you looking at the right place? 
we will never find Jesus at the party where we are going to celebrate our Christmas. I'm not against any party. You can have a party with your friends. No issue at all. But above all, seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness and all this will be added to you. That is the most important thing for us today. As a Christian, we are celebrating Christmas for many, many years. But is there a Christ in our center today? The center point of Christmas is Jesus Christ alone. Christ Mass, celebrating Christ. It's the meaning of Christ Mass, celebrating Christ, celebrating Jesus Christ. We need to come together and celebrate our Lord Jesus Christ. Thirdly, what do you give? Your level of joy at Christmas is directly related to what you give. The Magi came to Jesus' house bearing gifts. The gifts they gave were entirely appropriate. They gave a proper, a appropriate gift to Jesus Christ. And that gift also appropriate for us today. So they gave gold gift for a king. By giving it, they acknowledged that Jesus was, in a, Jesus was and is the king. They gave frankincense, a gift for a priest. This was incense, what the priest used in the temple. And by giving it, they acknowledged that Jesus was a priest, the one who will bring us to God. And thirdly, they gave myrrh, a gift for the dead. This was a fragrant ointment used to anoint a body before burial. So, by giving it, they acknowledged that Jesus had come to die for the sins of the world. So, they gave three kind of gifts. One, gold. Second, frankincense. And thirdly, myrrh. So, the, all these three gifts are very relevant for that particular uh, time. And that also relevant for us today. We need to acknowledge Jesus as a king. We need to acknowledge Jesus as a priest. And we need to also acknowledge that Jesus came to die for the sinner. That is a Christmas. If you want to give a gift to someone, tell them, Jesus Christ born for you and me as a king, as a priest, as a Lord, as a savior. So we need to give appropriate gifts this Christmas as well. Don't get me wrong. I'm not talking about material gifts. I'm talking about more important things. We need to give the gift of our love and kindness to our friends and family. Show our love to others. Dear husband, please show your love to your wife. She sacrificed a lot for you. I'm not telling that you're not loving your wife, but give something important for your wife. If you're far away from your home, just call them and ask them, how are you keeping? Have you taken your dinner? Husbands always forget their wives. During Christmas season, we are busy doing so many things, but remember your family. And we need to give the gift of our, to, to our help to those who are hurting. And we need to give the gift of forgiveness to those who have hurt us. That, uh, this will be a great gift during this Christmas season. Giving this kind of gifts will result in a joyous and meaningful Christmas for us. So three kind of gifts you can give during this Christmas season. A gift of our love and kindness. A gift of our help, those who are hurting and those who are in need. And to give the gift of forgiveness to those who have hurt us. That will be a great gift. Dear children, young people over here, please remember your parents wherever they are. They may be in for, uh, overseas. They may be in uh, another campo. Remember them. Remember your parents. Send them a gift. And in that gift, write, I love you so much, Amma. The moment she opened that, she have a great joy. Your mother not expecting something from you that you will spend or oh, 100,000 or oh, you send a sari or what. If you call your mother and ask her, how are you keeping? That will give her great joy during this Christmas season. Give important for your family members. So, what do you give during this Christmas season? You can give yourself. You can give yourself to our Lord Jesus Christ. 
What are you looking for during this Christmas season? What you are seeking for during this Christmas season? Remember all this and honor our God Almighty. Let us worship our God with all heart. Let us worship God with the full commitment. Let us worship God and give glory to Him alone, not anything else. Christmas season is celebrating Christ and telling others the love of God. Finally, my conclusion, what are you giving for, for Christmas this year? Why not consider giving yourself? Give yourself to the Lord. Give your time to your family. Give your compassion to the hurting. Give your forgiveness to the isolated. And give your heart to Jesus. I promise you, when you look for the right thing, look in the right places and give the right gift, you will have a joy Christmas. Give your time to your family. It's a very, very important thing. Spend time with your children. Spend time with your wife. Oh, wife, spend time with your husband. Spend time with your children. Send a note to your wife that you love her so much. Many people neglecting their wife. Never acknowledge their work. I don't know why I'm repeating this again and again. Acknowledge them. Tell them that you are lovers so much. But remember to get a beautiful sari for her as well. <laughs> if you get a good sari to, for her, Adela Koli curry, chicken curry. Praise God. Remember them. Remember them. Above all, the Lord Almighty God looking you that you can give your heart for Jesus Christ. That's the most important thing. Give your heart to Jesus. Give yourself to Jesus. Lord, yeah, am I? Use me, O oh Lord, to share the good news to others. That will be a, a joyous Christmas for us. Sharing gospel, evangelizing. Meeting people, they are meeting people's need. God will bring great, great joy during this season. Because the angels appeared to the shepherds and praising said, glory in the highest. Glory to God in the highest. That will be a great Christmas. I'm not against caroling, but the careless must go to the non-believers home and share the good news. Praise God. Praise God. That was the first caroling. The shepherd, the, the angels appeared to the shepherd and sang and preached the good news. The Lord born for you in Bethlehem. Dear, dear friends, we can do so many things during this Christmas season. Decoration, buying things, and um, turkey, la, mutton, la, chicken, la, everything we can do, you know. All good, all good. You can invite all your family members, your relatives. But at the same time, remember one poor, the needy, the poor people. Just invite one person. Come, have a good dinner. Come, have a good lunch. Come, I'll give a small gift for you. The gift of love. That will be a great Christmas for us. May the Lord bless you. Let us pray. God our Father, we want to thank you, Lord. Can you stand with me? I want to give you an altar call and make a commitment in your heart today. What are you giving for Christmas this year? Why not consider giving yourself, your heart to our Lord Jesus Christ? Make a commitment in your heart. The gift of forgiveness, the gift of our love, our help to those who are hurting, the gift of our love and kindness to our friends and family. Examine ourselves and make a commitment with our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, I have neglected my family, my children, my wife. Today, Lord, I want to acknowledge them. 
I only acknowledge all the sacrifices they've done for the family. Almighty God is inviting you today to commit yourself. And the Almighty God inviting you to give your heart to Jesus. We have another six or seven days to celebrate our Christmas. Let us remember to seek God at the right place. And to give the right gift to our Lord and also to others. Father, we only give all honor and glory to you alone. We know that you are with us today, Emmanuel. Help us to do the right thing, O Lord, during this season. We can have a great celebration. Above all, we must remember your love and to share the good news to others, O Lord. Give us the courage. Give us the confidence. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. Let us all stand to sing the last hymn, hymn number 236. While we are singing this song, we will collect our offerings and our tithes. Our ushers will guide all of you. Hymn 236. pray father god we thank you for the all for all the gifts lord that you have given us father now we have blessed you lord with the best of the best gift that we can offer unto you we pray that lord you will accept it and may this money lord be useful in the building of your ministry 
and bless the hands of the Lord. We blessed you with tithes and offering. We give you all glory and honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Congregation, please be seated. We have a couple of announcements. District pastors and leaders' year end gathering will be held today at 7 p.m. Okay, so this is about Christmas and New Year celebration services. Please take note. On 24th of December at 10.30 p.m., we will have a Christmas Eve service, bilingual. 25th December, 8 o'clock, Christmas Tamil service. 10.30, Christmas English service. And 12 o'clock, Christmas Telugu service. As well as same with uh, 31st of December, Washington service will be at 11 p.m. Bilingual, 1st January, 8 a.m. Tamil service. 10.30, English service. And 12 o'clock noon, Telugu service. With Sunday, support the poor and the needy. Today is the last day. If you, you can still contribute. If more information, you can contact our finance chairman, also uh, treasurer, chief treasurer. So 2020, the year of uh, 2020, Christmas, uh, Christian calendar now available, six ringgit per unit. Uh, this available in two languages, Tamil and English. To place your order, kindly call the church office uh, to book your orders by 30th of December. Children Ministry, the year 2022, touch a heart, touch a child, touch the future. Serve in our Children Ministry. Friends, we would like to uh, invite you if, you, if you have a burden to serve in this area, please contact our pastors, Dr. Esther or Mr. Sprema Mutu. Come, let us stand for the closing prayer and benediction. God, our Father, we want to thank you and we praise your holy name, O Lord. Lord Jesus, you have made known to us the things of the kingdom today. Show us how to apply what we have learned in this service to our daily lives, O Lord. Help us to make wise choices throughout the week for the glory of your name. Help us to focus on you and your word and not the things of this world, so that we can walk in your ways, O Lord. Father, give us wisdom that leads to love and faith. And Lord, we pray that uh, every member of Team Sikha we commit their life to seek you, O Lord. Help us to obey your word. Lord, during this Christmas season, our Father, help us to remember the poor and the needy. And Lord, give us the courage to share the gospel, the good news to others. Lord, the reason you came to this world to save everyone, that no one should perish. At the same time, O oh Lord, help us to fulfill the great commission. Lord, we know that you are with us. You are with us until the end of this world. Thank you, Lord. Help us to shine before others. That they may see you in us and glorify Father in heaven. We want to give all honor and glory to you alone. Lord, we also want to remember those who are in need, those who are sick, those who are not able to come for our Sunday worship service. We pray that your presence, your mighty hand will be upon them. Father God, past two days we have a live streaming issues and problems. We pray, Lord, during our Christmas season, our Christmas service, we will have uh, no interruption in our Wi-Fi or live streaming a lot. Once again, we surrender our members into your hand. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Benediction. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, love of the Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you now and forevermore. Amen. Be seated. May the Lord bless you. Shalom. Mm -hmm.